Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? I'm your host here, Anthony. So I wanna share to you guys some very important information. We are coming on a great economic catastrophe unlike we've never seen before. This is gonna be worse than the Great Depression. And it's around the corner to be honest with you guys. I don't really believe we might have that much time left now, I'm not saying this is going to happen in the next couple of days or weeks or months because I really don't know. But by the looks of it, it's really nearby. So don't be like everybody else. I talk to people. I even got a friend I talk to sometimes. And it seems like everybody has a veil over their eyes. You try to explain something, it's like they don't get it. Now, I don't have everything figured out. I don't know everything like this guy knows or this other person that I know as well. But... This might just help you financially. I don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. Ask your corrupt financial advisor. See what he tells you. Won't hurt to ask. But anyways, I want to share with you guys a message here about buying worthless junk. If a lot of your money goes to Amazon, Walmart, Target, Kroger, Marketplace, any miscellaneous website, I can't think of any other places, Dollar General, family dollar you get the idea a the store in other words ross uh, marshall's mervyn's the 99 cent store it doesn't matter if you're investing in worthless junk this video is for you is it hard to keep your house clean that's how you know if you have a lot of worthless junk can you park your car in your garage if you can't you have worthless junk and i made a list here no, I, 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 you know, I didn't show it to you 100% because you're not going to want to watch the video. You just read the list and figure it, try to figure it out on your own. But anyways, the, I think the number one principle in all this message is going to be invest in yourself. I'm going to tell you what, what is not worthless junk to make the video as short as possible. The number one, at, number one is assets. Do you have these assets in your possession? Is your money going towards these assets? Which is A, gold, B, silver, C, crypto, and then the following. Now, there, those are the out of the system assets that you could invest. Now, I didn't put cash in there because we're having the problem with the devaluation of our currency. And many currencies are out there. So I just don't want to point the finger at the, U, the Federal Reserve dollar here. But most central bank currencies are going to be wiped out, including the dollar. That's what I'm hearing. Anyways, in the system assets, I, and I put these in the system assets. Stocks, houses, slash apartments, or real estate, cars, trucks, SUVs, 18-wheelers. I even put those in 18-wheelers in there. Those are in system assets. Now, those assets, um, honestly, I believe cars, vehicles, 18 wheelers are a different type of asset. I should have put that in the category under tools. Yeah, I did. Tools. Actually, those are tools. Now, now these type of assets help you to make your life easier by taking you to work or making money. An example, like the 18 wheeler. Also, now another type of assets, going back to is tools. Under tools are actually the 18-wheeler, you own a box truck, you own a light riding lawnmower, or just tools in general, they're gonna help you make you money. Even in a economic collapse situation or SHTF situation, tools can actually help you make a living. We're always gonna need people, always gonna need plumbers or truck drivers, you name it, we're always gonna need these people. That is a great asset. Um, which is kind of in the system assets slash out of the system asset. Okay, guns, ammunition, ammunition, food, believe it or not, land. You're going to say, well, why didn't you put land under houses, apartments, and real estate? Because land, you don't, you, there's some places, believe it or not, you actually don't even pay property taxes on land or very little uh, property tax it is a piece of parcel. Depending on how big the parcel is, doesn't matter how big the parcel is, but you could always trade that in for money. 
people are always going to need land. You could grow food on land. You could store things on land. Um, cattle, going back to land. Cows, donkeys, um, sheep, goats, uh, mules, horses. Now the horses, I mean, could be kind of a liability. But you could always sell these for food, currency, um, even the guns, believe it or not, guns actually do retain uh, some of its um, initial investment. Ammunition, like I purchased a box of bullets about, I wanna say about four to five years ago. I got it for 350 bucks. That same box today costs about $2,000. So I've already made over 2,000% um, because of the inflation and the demand right now. And the, there's a lack of uh, bullets out there in the supply uh, supply chain right now so you see these are assets where you don't lose your money versus if you invest all your money on at walmart and amazon i'm talking about in stuff inside the store you're gonna lose your money and i tried to explain this to my friend that thinks he knows it all uh and he has an answer for everything like example you purchase an alexa or speakers or a computer yeah they're great at the moment and they bring you some kind of entertainment and pleasure like he claims but can you turn around and sell your speakers that you bought at amazon or even best buy can you turn around in a, a shft situation or you get laid off from your job can you turn around and get your money back or at least get 80 percent of your your purchase back no you lose it forever you bought something at amazon you don't lose it you lose it forever like all those people that be buying that Alexa. Somebody asked, do you have an Alexa at home? Why do I need that junk for? It's trash. Is it made in China? Yes. If Whatever you're buying says it's made in China, it's trash. Always keep that in mind. That's how you know it's trash. If you're, if you're watching this video, you're like, man, how do I know what I bought is trash? Well, on the box or on the item, does it say made in China? It's trash. It's trash. It's junk. It's just the honest truth. It's trash. So, I know it's hard to swallow that and, un and comprehend, but just think about it. Think about what I'm just saying. If you lost your job, if you had to feed your family, clothe your family, if you had to put gas in your vehicle, all your junk and your investments that you made at Walmart, Amazon, Target, Dollar General, even the used clothing, the secondhand store, doesn't matter what, well, doesn't matter where it comes from, not really. But because I'm not picking on Amazon necessarily, I'm just using them because a lot of you know these places. Would you get your money back? Could you pay your rent with all the junk you have in your house? No, get rid of it. You weren't born with it, you don't need it necessarily. You don't need it. If it doesn't fall on this list, oh, now the greatest asset believe it or not healthy lifestyle believe it or not that's enough probably a whole different video also another asset that some of you might consider having extra at home besides food which is very important you believe it or not, especially with inflation and the cost of food going up because of the devaluation of the currency believe it or not food is a great investment honestly believe it or not it's good to have extra food at home I wouldn't go fanatical about the food situation. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Because most of you are fat and overweight anyways. You guys can easily go two years with skipping a good few meals down the road anyways. Um, medication. I bet you guys didn't even think about that one. I kind of left this towards the end. Medication. Have you ever guys thought that you might need to have extra medicine at home? Something that I've been doing. I've had a couple extra cough medicine. No, I can't say you're going to turn around and sell your medication. You never know. But I wouldn't recommend it. Medication, yeah, like Tylenol, Band-Aids, alcohol, medicines you might need. You might have health issues. Keep an extra medication at home. You don't know if the pharmacy is going to be open. Seriously, think about it, guys. But a healthy lifestyle would honestly avoid you from having to depend on having medications at home. But it still be a good idea, even if you are healthy, you have weights at home. Yeah, weights are a good investment, but I would stay away from treadmills and all that maybe a bicycle a regular bicycle in case there's no fuel there's no fuel at the gas station you can't even put fuel in your gas tank because there's no fuel at the gas station have a bicycle 
But anyways, you know, the exercise. You don't need a treadmill, to be honest with you. You can run outside. But a healthy lifestyle. But still, medications. Some um, antibiotics. And like, let's say like you went to go see the doctor. For a perfect example, and he gave you an uh, uh, he gave you a, what do you call it? A antibacterial medication. And you still had another refill. You don't need it no more. Go get it anyways. Put it in your in your medication uh, cabinet and keep it. Um, I'll let you guys figure that one out. It's only com it's common sense. Hopefully you guys have common sense. And uh, one of the most important things you should have at home is a Bible. Have some Bibles at home. And I can't think of anything else. Uh, businesses are good uh, assets to have if you have your own business. I'm still working on that. I'm trying to start my own business. Coming up with an idea. Um, and remember this guys like Robert Kiyosaki says savers are losers so that's another problem a lot of you have thousands and thousands I know a, a lot of people don't but believe it or not there's some few people out there that do have thousands upon thousands of dollars in, in cash doesn't matter what currency the US dollar the yang uh, it don't matter what you got it in pesos it doesn't matter. Some of you got thousands upon thousands of dollars in the bank. The bank is not your friend. Don't have your money in the bank. Keep it in gold, silver, or crypto, or land. Like the watch the video. Well, Rewatch the video. Give you guys an idea what the heck I'm talking about. Anyways, God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Going back. Oh, going back to the cash part. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to have a a little emergency cash fund. You know to pay your, your property taxes or um, have smaller denominations because a lot of people don't want to seem to want to accept large denominations but anyways god bless you guys jesus loves you stop investing money in trash 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 everything at walmart amazon dollar general uh, family dollar secondhand store believe it or not even clothing uh, don't invest all your money in clothing. Oh, one more asset that you guys should not invest if you're still watching this. Besides clothing. Yeah, you should have clothing to look good for job interview. Don't get me wrong. You know, you want to look decent, presentable. But, man, don't waste your money on jewelry and diamonds, man. I saw a report that people lose 68% of their initial premium versus gold, maybe 3%. Uh, of their premium man diamonds are bad investment jewelry is even worse so stay away from those investment guys and be careful with stocks too but anyways i'm not a financial advisor i'm just telling you what i would do and what i want to do you guys can do whatever the heck you want but don't come knocking at my door asking for my food and asking me for money because a lot of people over the years that's what they do they come and ask me for money and I'm not going to say who. People make bad financial uh, investment and, and bad financial decisions because they waste all their money at the casinos and at Walmart, Target, Alexa's, and video games and all that crap, guys. It's not worth it because you'll never get your money back. And the Bible says that a wise man leaves his children an inheritance. So be wise. Be vigilant. God bless you again. Jesus loves you. I'm out. God bless you guys. Bye.